What's up guys, this is Nick at stridewise.com. Today I'm just filming an unboxing. I don't have a lot of unboxings on my channel, but when I do them, I usually just do it just for the fun of it, and people usually really, really like them. So here I am doing an unboxing from Grant Stone, which I'm very excited about because this is a pair of shoes that I've been wanting to wear for a long time, but it's a bit unlike all the other shoes on my channel thus far anyway. However, these shoes are so legendary. They are Grant Stone's second biggest sellers on their whole repertoire of shoes. The first best seller is a Diesel Boot, which I have reviewed in my channel, but it's with a leather they don't make it with anymore, so it's not the best review nowadays. But anyway, I've done it with the Diesel Boot. This is the second top selling one. And very importantly, this is the only shoe that I've ever bought for my father. I got him a pair of these for Christmas a couple of years ago. Here's some pictures of him enjoying it on a nice hot Christmas morning in Australia. Now I've got a pair for myself. I'm really pumped. So let's open it up and uh, see what we got. What I've got here is the Traveler Penny Loafer from Grant Stone in Dune is the color. And that color is just natural chrome XL. So uh, I'm really pumped for these boots. These were like everywhere, especially in the year I got these for my dad. What was it, 2019? If you get the uh, Goodyear Welt subreddit, it's like someone was getting a pair of these every other day. Um, I've been wanting to get it for a while. The truth is, I'm a bit embarrassed to say this, but I'm... I say so myself, I dress pretty well in winter and autumn, uh, but I don't dress well in summer and spring, not very. It's like my Australian DNA kicks in and I just start wearing like workout clothes and flip flops. So I've been trying to step up my game a little bit with summer wear and uh, this, I'm very excited to bust these out this summer with some like nice lightweight shorts. I'm doing some videos on that as well. The Grand Stone Traveler Penny Dune Loafer was designed with travel in mind, right? I mean, it's called the Traveler, but on the side they describe this shoe as something that's meant to be uh, very easy to wear on the go, just as easy to wear with shorts as it is with like wool slacks in the winter. So it's very nice, it's very, uh, very versatile sort of loafer for a loafer as well. The shoe is made on their Alexander Last. So most of the boots are made in their Leo Last. This is the Alexander Last, which has a more aggressive heel curve and like a medium instep. The heel curve, of course, being a bit different because you need to keep these shoes on your feet without laces. This has a nice, butyl treated leather outsole. A lot of guys, uh, they're a bit iffy on leather outsoles, but the good thing about leather outsoles, I I'm gonna say some people are iffy on leather outsoles because obviously the grip is not absolutely fantastic. Um, but it's also, some people don't like it because it is not as water resistant as certain rubber soles. Butyl treated leather outsoles, however, are more water resistant and more resistant to the elements and they have just a little bit more grip. They tend to have more grip anyway than your standard leather outsole. Now I do need to emphasize the grip issues will like eventually wear away as it gets beaten up. Um, the first time I wear these outside, this is gonna get scratches all up and down it and pretty soon those scratches like they create some grip for you, right? But yeah, butyl treated leather outsoles make the outsole uh, more durable and a bit more water resistant. And leather outsoles in general are nice because they're pretty, I mean, these are very, very new, right? So they're not gonna be very flexible, but leather outsoles are generally flexible and generally quite soft. And for a lightweight, you know, summery sort of shoe, um, I can see that making sense. So after that butyl treated leather outsole, uh, you've got some cork filling, a steel shank, which is pretty robust construction, and you got vegetable tan leather insole and welt as well. It's also got kip lining, so this is fully lined with, uh, yeah, kip skin, which is 
basically another word for calf skin. It's like a very, very thin, very soft calf skin that I think a lot of people like wouldn't want to make uh, boots and shoes from, but it's nice and soft, so it's nice for a lining on a shoe. That lining, by the way, is from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and the leather is from Chicago. So although the boots are, yes, put together in Shaman Island in China, Shaman is not like a, you know, like a horrifying sweatshop sort of a place in China. It's like a very nice resort town. It's kind of similar to Miami. Uh, and uh, and yeah, so although it is assembled there, like it's, it's made in China, uh, the components come from all over the world, but mostly from America. So you got the, uh, the leather lining, Lining is from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The leather itself of the upper is natural Chrome XL from Chicago. So Chrome XL, as you may know if you are a fan of this channel, is probably the most popular leather for American boots, and this is natural Chrome XL. So it's a nice, it's a really nice leather. It's really nice for summery outfits. It's like very, it's obviously lighter, more golden colored than your average brown Chrome XL or other brown leathers. But it's dark enough that it goes well enough with khaki, but also goes very well with denim and, uh, you know, most other things you can throw at it. So I'm excited for this. It's going to darken a little bit over time as it gets worn in, but I'm just really excited uh, to become a loafer guy this summer, you know, so I'm really pumped to wear those in. Uh, thanks to Grant Stone for sending them out. And um, I'll give you guys an update with uh, how these guys are wearing throughout the summer. So keep an eye on Instagram and uh, thanks for watching.